Hello everyone, HK Fanatic here again. As you can see, I've uh, done the basic disassembly of the unit, and it's not that difficult. Here's your mode switch here, and the wiring. Here's your sound, your sound board and speaker, which appear to be a combined unit, which is not bad. Um, there's plenty of room inside here to add weight. You could put in, uh, you could add some longitudinal weight in here by uh, just putting in some metallic uh, steel ring fittings or however you want to do it, which would add some weight to it. Uh, the battery, of course, is this is a separate compartment on the outside, which allows you to uh, put the battery in, and it's a pretty heavy-duty ABS uh, plastic on there, so it's not bad. Um, again, the blade. There's no clip because, as you can see, all your LEDs are right here on the blade, which is a simple cartridge type. Um, I have plenty of uses for those green LEDs and some other projects I'm going to do. So, I have replacement blades I could wire in here, which is a full blade that I could wire up uh, to these connectors. Uh, but the only way to remove this is going to be either to take your solder here and unsolder them. Or actually what I would do is I would just clip them about here. That way you can simply just re-solder the wires together color for color. And then uh, put the unit back together and you have a uh, decent handheld um, unit here. Now this sits over the top and without the blade in there you would just simply close it and simply put the screws back in. Um, Gonna have to do some looking here. Again, the paint, the, the the metallic finished paint is done very well. That almost looks like a metallic surface. And overall, the unit will be light. As I said, because uh, you're gonna have to add some weight in there to make it uh, more accurate. But still, it will look realistic. Okay, um, the next clip I'll have it all put back together and we'll see how it looks like without the blade. Okay, Fanatic, out. <laughs>